Hi folks, welcome back to the lab. Just a quick one today. When replacing capacitors in old amplifiers, the replacement parts are a lot smaller than the originals due to improvements in materials over the years. Most of the time, as long as you get the value and the lead spacing right, then everything's fine. But sometimes, as is the case in this old Sony, a mechanical fixing depends on the capacitor being the right size. Sometimes you can solve this by choosing a replacement part with a higher voltage rating, which makes them larger for the same value. But in this case, I wasn't able to get anything that was a match. Also, for this particular part, I wasn't able to match the lead spacing or type either, so I'm having to drill new holes. Luckily, the PCB is just a single layer, and there's plenty of room on the tracks. To fix the diameter problem, I've knocked up this 3D printable spacer that fits between the clamp and the new capacitor. I'll put a link to Thingiverse in the description, and it's an open SCAD parametric part, so you can enter the dimensions that you need for your particular situation. The gap in the space is probably best lined up with the joint in the clamp, and recommend printing these in ABS or nylon due to the temperatures that these might be exposed to. Stick around if you'd like to see the rest of the recap, or subscribe if you'd like to see this thing put to the test when I get around to doing a bit of a vintage amp shootout. Thanks for watching!